Back to square one again. Here's our original function that I've been uh, working with throughout this video. Y equals absolute value of x. And then the question becomes, what happens if you uh, change the sign of the function? And by this I mean, what if you multiplied uh, one side by negative one? Or change the, the function by negative, multiplying by a negative? That's going to change all the y values, isn't it? Except for zero, it won't change. But if I do that, y equals negative absolute value of x, it changes all the signs of the y's. And what do you suppose is going to happen? If you change all the y signs, then it's going to reflect it over. It's going to flip it upside down across the x-axis. So it's a reflection across the x-axis. So let me, let me draw the graph. I'll do that in red. And uh, it just flips it over y equals to minus absolute value of x. So that's a, a uh, and I call that a reflection. Across the x-axis. All right, so that's how you do a reflection around the x-axis. Um, now it's possible to reflect around the y-axis, and I don't, I don't worry about that also. That's the other thing I don't worry about in this course, is reflecting around the, the y-axis. Uh, but you would do that by changing the sign of all the x's from positive to negative. And, um, and that would end up reflecting around the, the uh, y-axis. So, uh, I figure if you learn these transformations that I've, I've been uh, talking about, the horizontal and vertical translations, the vertical stretch and the reflections then uh, around the x-axis, then you've got a pretty good uh, you know, base of knowledge for, for dealing with function transformations. And, and those, to me, in my opinion, are the, are the most important ones. So there we go. I think um, from here I'm going to work some examples with, with combining all these together. And uh, so we'll have more to say about it in those videos.